Hey, what is going on? My fellow fat Sagittarius. <laughs> my fellow Sagittarius is uh, Butch Tarot here. I am going to do a, your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. With all that being said, let's get it. Universe, what do we have? Our Sagittarius. What's going on for the Sagittarius? Alright, Sagittarius. First thing I see, Sagittarius, I feel like there is there is someone around you. Now this could be someone that just you just met or someone you will meet very soon. But I feel like with this person I feel like this person is falling hard. Falling hard and fast. You know, and I feel like with this person I I, I do feel like you're not going to see what's right in front of you because I feel like this person is hiding their true agenda from you. Now, let's not, maybe agenda is a bad word. I don't feel like they have a hidden agenda. I just feel like they have some secrets. You know, and I feel like they put a lot of work into hiding that from you. I mean, I feel like this is, it, it comes off as more of a friendship in the beginning. But I feel like, this person thinks of you as more than a friend. You know, this, like I said, they're falling for you and they're falling fast. You know, very quickly, they find themselves fantasizing about you. You know, this is more than a crush, Sagittarius. Uh, they find themselves fantasizing about you, thinking about only you. You know, very quickly, knowing exactly what they want. You know, with, with meeting you, it's like that ship has finally come in has finally come in the harbor and they've been waiting a very long time for that ship. That ship is you. And like I said, I feel like they've been waiting for this. They've been waiting for that right person to come along. This is not someone I, I really don't feel like this person falls easy, but for you, there's just something about you that draws them in. And the, you know, the more they get drawn in, the more anxiety sits in because I sets in because I feel like this person is afraid that you won't feel the same way. They're afraid that you don't feel the same way. And I feel like that's kind of eating away at them. And that's why they're not being completely honest with you about how they feel. Because they're afraid that they're alone in it. But like I said, very quickly, we move into something much more. And we get to the point where, um, like I said, this person knows exactly what they want with that two, two of wands. But with that eight of cups... It's getting harder and harder for them to walk away from this. It's getting harder and harder for them to think about walking away from this. You know, we have new love. But it gets it keeps getting countered by that that internal struggle. You know, that fear of of, of taking that leap of faith. You know, because it is quick. They weren't expecting to fall so fast and so hard for you. They don't expect you to have felt the same way. So it's that inter internal struggle. I mean, they don't want to lose what they already have. But they also know they can't walk away. You know, there is that, like I said, that putting a lot of work to hide this from you. I mean, I feel like in the beginning, they really didn't know. They didn't expect this. 
So there is that self-imposed prison and a lot of work to keep that prison door shut, you know, to keep their feelings at bay. But I feel like the more this goes on, the harder that's going to be for them. You know, their biggest fear is getting hurt. And then sometimes when we feel feelings for someone very quickly, it, it, it can be intimidating. I mean, there's so many different thought processes that go through the head. I mean, for one, is this person going to think I'm crazy because I fell, I fell so fast? Two, am I going to lose them when I tell them how I feel because they don't feel the same way? You know, and, and it, the list goes on and on about how many different things, you know, our friendship, you know, not only if if I make my move, if they don't feel the same way, not only do I, it becomes awkward, but also I lose them as a friend as well because it's kind of hard to be friends with someone after you, you've, you know, put your heart out there and they didn't feel the same way. It's hard to go back. You know, and I feel like in the very beginning, I mean, I feel like they're going to accept that friendship. They're going to, you know, and that's, that's the friendship is, is the door that opened them, you know, the door opening was the friendship. When they came in and realized more about you, they got to know you better. All they wanted to do was reach out and grab you. Hold on. You know, this person, like I said, it's so much more than a crush here, Sagittarius. I mean, that queen of, queen of wands, I mean, this person... If you allow them to, they will chase you. You know, all they need is that one indication that you're on the same page and this person will be all over it. But like I said, to be honest, you can't you can't truly wait for someone to, you know, to know something that you're not telling them. You know, it's almost like this person is just waiting for you to, to catch on. Now with this person, I feel like there's a lot of physical energy, but I mean, I feel like that's just the the tip of the iceberg here you know this is someone you're gonna have a lot of fun with this is someone that's easy to communicate with this is someone i feel like i feel like they just get you you know very sarcastic very witty but also i feel like there's not a lot of judgment in this person you know i feel like this person isn't worried about your past they're focused on your future you know this person is the type of person that doesn't judge You know, they authentically care about you. And that is that is absolutely clear in this read. Like I said, with that new love, um, I mean, this person wants to build a foundation with you. They want a future with you. They, they're just kind of stuck in, the, in a spot right now where they don't know how to do that. You know, we also have that, the Gemini, the lovers. And then we have the sun card as well. I mean, this person, they don't just want to be your friend. They want to be everything you allow them to be. You know, they want to be part of your life. They want to build with you. They want to get to know you. They want to have fun with you. They want to share things with you. I mean, every thought that this person has is about nurturing this connection. It's about nurturing you. I mean, we have the, the star card, that Aquarius energy. You know, and like I said, this person isn't just... You know, this isn't just a crush. It might have started out that way, but this person has some serious feelings for you. I mean, this person, there's there's a point where this person is going to take that step and finally take the leap of faith. And I feel like it's because they know they can't move forward without it. And a lot of forward movement here, Sagittarius. I mean, they may be flirty with you. There may be some flirting going back and forth, but... They want to do much more than flirt with you. Now, there's a very protective energy of this with this person as well. You know, I feel like this person is very protective over you. You know, if you allow them, they'll show up. If you allow them, they'll keep you safe. You know, that's that's the thing. I I feel like this. I feel like you mean so much to this person that your happiness. Is very important to them. And I feel like this person. Like I said. They will finally take that leap of faith. Because. 
there's eventually a point where you know you can't there's no, there's a point of no return there's a point when you came so close to the edge that it it's too late to turn back they gotta take that leap of faith and when they do it's gonna be very it's gonna be a very serious offer you know like i said i feel like in the beginning it started off um very light you know it was kind of a crush that they had on you and then they got to know you more and the more they get to know you the more they know it, it becomes clear they know exactly what they want You know, I feel like it started off very, very, what's the word, very casual, you know, casual encounter, um, you know, spending some time with people, getting to know them can sometimes change the complete outlook that they have on you. Um, but like I said, I mean, I, I feel like this person... In the beginning, it may have been just a crush. It may have been just uh, physical chemistry. Um, very, you know, very simple. But it, it turned into something a lot less simple. A lot more... Um, a lot more than a crush. Now with this person, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So for for our story time, um, not really a story, but more or less, it's funny how it happens like that. Sometimes you can have a crush on someone and you get to know them. And then as soon as you get to know them, you realize their personality is like, you know, like, why did I crush on this person? And then sometimes... You know, you meet someone, you have a crush on them, you get to know them, and it, it just, there's a reason why you were drawn to them. And that reason becomes a lot more clear when you get to know them. You know, most crushes are, are started by physical. You know, you see someone, you like the way they look, you're attracted to them, you get a little bit of a crush. Some crushes start because you see them interact with other people and you liked how they did that. You know, you see them being nice to somebody or you see them doing something nice for someone. And you say, okay, well, this person, you know, hey, I like this person. I like their vibe. I like their energy. Some crushes start because you're just picking up on some, you know, subconscious energy. You know, you're feeling something for this person, even though you don't know them. So it starts off feeling like a crush. There's something about this person that you want to explore. But no matter how a crush starts, you know, there's two ways it could go. You know, you can get to know the person better and want more. Or you can get to know the person and want less. <laughs> but the thing is, for all you cross watchers who this resonates with, you got to you got to put yourself out there. Simple as that. If you feel a certain way for someone, even if you don't know how they feel about you. And yeah, I know rejection sucks. I've been rejected. It sucks, but you get over it. Now regret, that's something you may never get over. You know, don't live with regret. You know, you're more likely to regret the things you didn't do than the things you did do. And if you really have strong feelings for someone, you know, and you don't tell them, that shit will eat away at you. You know, if you tell them and they turn you down and they're not interested and, and whatever, at least you know. But not knowing. That can be a hard pill to swallow. You know, at least if you ask them and they reject you, down the road you can always say, I took my shot. They weren't interested. You know, it's, it's one of those things. I mean, in high school, there was this girl, and I always, even, um, I went to school with her from, from elementary 
like all through school I went to school with her and I always kind of had this little bit of a crush on her and I waited all the way to high school and I asked, asked her to the school dance and she said no <laughs> but I could have saved myself a lot of you know a lot of years crushing over this girl if I would have asked her out sooner and she would have turned me down because the moment she turned me down the way she said it to me was so rude that I was like I wish I would have seen this in her years ago now it sucked that she rejected me but do I have regrets I have regrets I have regrets that I didn't ask her sooner and I didn't see that part of her because I, I, I feel like it would have been over and I would have, you know, spent my time doing better things. But it is what it is. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.